Hey guys, Todd here, and today we're going to show you how to use Wine Bottler to game on a Mac. Um, so with this, you can download Steam, install any kind of Steam game you want that works in Windows only. So I know I've used this for uh, many games, and those games aren't available on Mac itself, so I like to download Wine Bottler and game on my Mac. I'm trying to get a custom PC, but it's still in the works. So first, of course, you're going to need Wine Bottler itself. Always download the stable version. I, I tend to stay away from dev builds. But uh, you can download that. Yep, just download. And they give us an ad, so we got to wait. Oh, it appears I have ad block on. Let's disable that. All right, let's download that. And it says in five seconds I'll have it. There we go. That's downloading. And then, of course, you're going to need Steam, obviously. So go to install Steam and download the Windows version. All right. So I'm going to cancel this wine bottler because I actually have it already. Um, okay, so we're going to open up wine bottler find that right here apparently it's got an update don't know why okay there we go so what you're first gonna want to do I think steam is actually built into this yes yeah, so you can actually download steam from here either way it'll still work um, so once you open up wine bottle you can hit install steam and I've directed to my applications, that's where I usually keep everything. And all you literally have to do is hit save. And that's it. So, I already have that here. And once it's saved, it'll save to your applications, and it'll look just like that. It's also in your applications folder, so go there, and Steam. And now sometimes, I don't know what kind of issue this is, it won't let you type the first time so if you just click out of steam and then click back in it'll let you type don't know what the issue is there but uh yeah so you got steam working and you're free to download all kinds of games so let's see boot that up here go to library and yeah you can definitely download games as you can see i have call of duty world at war here that's a windows only game and i can play it so you can try that as it wants to load too. I haven't booted this up in about two years, so we'll see. There it goes. And yeah, you are good. Click that. And yeah, that's it. So if you guys also want to install like third-party apps that aren't built into Wine Bottle or itself, you could do what we just did. We could download the Steam EXE file or any other EXE file. Then you're going to right-click and open with and not Wine. Wine is also going to come up every time. I don't know why, but you want to go to Other, scroll all the way down till you see Wine Bottler right there, and you probably have to change this. Oval always open with Wine Bottler. And make sure new prefix is selected, and make sure your file is selected, of course. And you don't need to really change anything right here. And then all you do is hit install. It'll perfectly install Steam. You'll go through the setup, and you should be good to go. So we can do that here, actually. We'll do Steam. So now it's just creating the files, acting like a Windows computer, and then you're going to see the Windows setup screen for Steam. Alright, and then you hit next, blah blah blah, 
you are 13 years of age and then whatever I'm not gonna go through this because I already have it installed but you can see you'll still have that and then once you're done just navigate to the actual file itself it'll be a wine file and you should be good to go so let's quit that okay today it's not gonna let me quit it don't know why and yeah now you're good to go so that's it for this tutorial uh please comment rate and subscribe and i'll uh, see you guys in the next one